Alrighty, so here's the uh, the Bridger. Yeah, it's uh, used obviously. I've been using these for a couple years now. And this is the uh, the Duke. So size wise, they're pretty similar. This might be uh, have a bit more spread. The dog system's a little different. This one's got a ball on the end of the pan, or the, the dog, sorry, to latch onto the pan. The Duke just has this notch in the pan. I, uh, I actually like that a bit better. So that's kind of cool. Um, very similar setup, just a nut. This is a brass nut. This one actually has a nylock. Both come with chains. The Bridger has a little bit heavier duty of a chain. As well as the box swivels quite, quite a bit beefier. So, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. All the edges are fairly rough where they've been cut. Um, pressed, I guess, press cut or sheared. All the edges are rough. These ones here, have all, they were always smoother, even though it was the same process. You can see where they're sheared. Um, just a lot of little things. But, uh, you know, for 80 or 90 bucks, I think it was 90 bucks for this. A dozen of these versus I think these were 120 you know that's 30 bucks that's quite a bit quite a bit different so these uh, feel quite a bit stiffer could be just because they're new sorry if the camera's shaking so You can set them pretty good, nice and low before they uh, go off. <clears throat> so pretty nice. We'll uh, set that off with my foot. So there we go. Not going to boil these up or anything today. We're going to uh, use them for the season. They'll get a nice coat of rust on them from being in the swampy pond. and. Uh, Next year we'll dye them all. You can see that these ones were dyed last year. And uh, you know, they're still fairly good, but could use some more love. So just thought I'd share the difference in quality. Um, the Duke, you know, everything's a little bit lesser quality compared to the Bridger, but there is a significant price difference. And you know, for what they have to do, these Dukes will have no problem doing what these Bridgers did. So, just thought I'd share that. So that's just a quick comparison of the Bridger 1.5 versus the Duke 1.5. Uh, both traps are going to do what you need to do. One's a little lesser quality, but uh, for muskrat floats, I don't think uh, you can go wrong with the Duke. Uh, if I was going after Fox or something, you know, of that nature... Um, I think I would spend the extra couple bucks and get some rubber jaws or laminated jaws, obviously, but uh, uh, I think I would go with the Bridgers over the Duke in that case. But for uh, rat trapping, that uh, 20 or $30 savings is pretty uh, substantial, and uh, I would go with the Dukes. So, hope you like this uh, little clip if you're in the market for some one and a halfs. Um, it's a fairly, uh, they're both fairly good traps. But I think I would go with the Dukes. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, sorry there wasn't a video last week. It just uh, didn't work out. But uh, we'll get this one up. And uh, there should be some more trapping videos coming up. So if the fur cooperates, you'll see more. So cheers guys and uh, have a good weekend.